Good morning. It is cool. I mean, it's in the 40s, but it's not as cold as it has been. I got my stuff pretty much broken down. I got some water I'm boiling for my oatmeal and coffee. I'm going to uh, put my tent away. And while I put my tent away, I'm then I will uh, come back and start making breakfast. Everything's a little bit damp. Oh, I don't know if you can see the sky behind me, but it's had a pretty sunrise. Hoping for good weather today. I haven't checked the, well, I checked the forecast yesterday. It looked good, but, but honestly, the, the forecast up here in the mountains, as you can imagine, like changes hourly. I can check at three and then have a different forecast at 3.34, which happened yesterday. I looked at the forecast at like six. It was like 70% chance of rain or it's 5.30. And then at like 6.30, it was like 10% chance of rain at six, which I know it already happened, but whatever. But it, then it was like 50% chance at seven. So like there was just a little drizzle, but I was happy to be hunkered down and um, stay dry even though it wasn't a hard rain. It's good enough for me. All right, once again, I am rambling. So uh, let's get to work. I'm on the move. Probably gone eh, about a mile or so, not even. I just busted out my Colorado gloves. <laughs> Colorado mittens. Um, they're warm, but they're way too bulky. They were just super cheap at the uh, little general store in Twin Lakes. And the guy even had like a hiker discount going on. So I might keep them for sleep gloves or, I don't know, send them home for fun. I mean, I love rocking the handmade <laughs> knitted mittens with the Colorado on them. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll just get used to wearing them. But it feels like I'm not even like holding my trekking pole. It's very awkward. Um, but it's cozy. And I love to cozy. Uh, so, sounds like now, uh, Trail Mom and Hong Kong went about two miles farther than me. Um, by the time I got down to the bottom of Hope Pass, I was limping pretty bad, so I stopped at eight miles. Um, my knee was pretty painful last night. Actually, both knees, but my left knee was worse again. And uh, pretty sore this morning, too, so... I'm just going to go slow, and I might hike late. Just go slow and late. I don't know if I'll catch them tonight. I probably have to put in... Whew, just guessing. They said they were leaving at 645 because they were waiting for me. But I didn't leave till later than that because I was waiting for some Tylenol to kick in on my legs. Um, I don't think I left until 730 or something. 745 maybe. Who knows? Um... So, I don't know, maybe I'll catch up tonight or tomorrow night. Hopefully the weather holds, the train's okay. If it's good, I'll hike pretty late tonight. I do want to hike with them. They're a good crew. Sun keeps teasing me. Come out a little bit. Could use a little warmth to Warm up your bones. Have I mentioned how much I enjoy the Aspens? If I didn't, I really enjoy them. It's been so cool to hike through, so pretty. I think I'm kind of staying down in the valley for the next oh, five, six miles or so. Then I got to get up to Lake Ann Pass, which is about 12,600 feet, which will be my high point for the day, I think and hope. <laughs> uh, and tomorrow I'll be getting up over, uh, probably closer to 13,000 again.
pretty little waterfall. And the bridge. Ooh. Got a mile to get up to the top. And judging by the grade I've been climbing, which has been very gradual, I think I'm gonna have a very steep uphill climb for about a mile, which is okay. That's better than six miles. Almost to the top. I got rain down a little bit. Got a fog rolling in there. I got some more raindrops. Just kind of sprinkling down. Really, probably should be getting up and over this. Oh, it's pretty. All right, stop messing around and get over this path before it really opens up on me. That is Lake Ann that I'm passing. On the way up to Lake Ann Pass, I got about three quarters of a mile to get to the pass. Oh, these views open up. Can't even tell where the trail goes. I mean, I see where it goes right in front of me, but I have no idea where the pass is. Looks like I'll be doing some rock climbing. I guess I gotta get up and over that. Quite beautiful that lake in. And let's keep the rain over there. Let's stay behind me, although it seems like it's getting closer. All right, here I am on Lake Ann Pass. 12,600 feet. I got rain over there, I got rain all the way over to here. It looks like there's some rain in front of me. And right now at 12,600 feet, the only thing that's hit me is snowflakes, which I'm grateful for. I'm gonna turn this camera around and get a, get a good view. stay up here and have lunch but with rain on both sides of me that's not, I think I just need to get down see the trail going all the way up through there back into the tree line I'm sure it'll be much warmer hopefully this rain blows over it's like soft hail I don't know that I don't want to call it snow. <laughs> that is pretty being up here. I mean, I'm, it's snowing and I'm wearing shorts and a fleece. So uh, yeah, I'm cold, <laughs> but it's pretty. Hey, little, little ice balls, little, little puff balls, actually. Appears to be getting a little heavier. I better uh, focus on my, my climb down. This is better than rain. I wonder if I should uh, put some more layers on. 
Ooh, maybe my big old Colorado mittens. All right, I got some gear on and uh, I got some dried mango, my big old mittens. Ooh. All right, the temperature dropped awfully quickly. Time to get to a lower elevation. I'm just afraid it's gonna to turn to rain. I'm gonna be soaked, but I have my raincoat on just in case. Snow is stopped for now. Lunch time. That was kind of a late lunch. I have a very nice view. I got some mountains and a nice lake down there. And I'm gonna have some more dried mangoes, some salmon, and another brick of granola. Not very exciting. But when you're hungry, I guess it is very exciting. <laughs> Just climbed up over 11,000 feet again. Now I'm descending, and I think about five miles I should be coming to a junction. And I'm going to do another uh, alternate. This one is going to be called the Mirror Lake Alternate. Um, I'm probably going to be hiking into the dark again tonight, I'm trying to make up for kind of having a short day yesterday. Pretty out here when it's not raining. I guess it's even pretty when it's raining. Oh, I think at about four miles or so, I'm gonna have a river crossing. That'll be fun. Hopefully, it's not too big. I keep my fingers crossed. All right, down it. Little purple line alternate, the Mirror Lake alternate I'm doing. And along the alternate, I guess there's a place I can, as I was talking about earlier, crossing that river, I could shave off a little bit of, of the purple line too. Just a little bushwhack alternate. So here's the cold feet coming up. All right, time to cross the river. Luckily, I kind of just walked through the woods and I came out, it seemed like a pretty good place. I was able to walk to this point and stay dry. Now I'll take my shoes and socks off. It's not deep at all, won't be bad. I'm happy with that. Now I just have to navigate. The trail is someplace over there, probably in the woods. I gotta get up there. All right, made it across. Even got my feet dried, get my shoes back on. While I was down here, I was eating some more mangoes. I'm probably going to end up eating this whole giant bag of mangoes. All right, get back on trail and see how many miles I got. I'm guessing three and a half, four. I'm hoping a little less. Pretty sky. Now I got to get through these bushes with no trail and hope I don't get wet. I mean, I'm going to get wet. Hope I don't get soaked. Let me look at that sky. Some aspens in the river. Why not? I have hiked into the night and uh, it's raining. It's gonna set up in this little spot right over here and uh, Trails up over there. Got some rock protection, some tree protection. And that's all I got. I got 22 miles or something. Good night now.